Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Zen Libran Tarot. What's going on, y'all? Peace out there to everybody. How you living? How you living? How you live? How y'all doing out there? I hope everybody's peaceful, doing well, chilling, you know what I'm saying, chillaxing. Yeah, I hope everybody's just comfortable and just peace of mind, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm here for y'all today. You know, I'm doing a um, Medusa's message. Okay. I got another message from Medusa. You know, I haven't been getting many lately, but they're starting to trickle in. And, you know, as soon as I get them, I want to release them to you guys. Okay. Medusa was and is the original nun that sat inside of the temple and got the downloads from the divine. The Divine gave Medusa messages on how creation was supposed to operate. And Medusa relayed these messages, her being an oracle, to society. And this is how society functioned. And when Medusa ruled, we were in the golden ages, y'all. That is when the woman was in control of the earth. We were in the golden ages. They call it prehistoric times. <laughs> um, that's the part of the... Uh, the part of the world, the part of the, uh, the part in time, the era that they don't teach us about because they do not want the woman to know who she is, what she's capable of doing. They don't want her to know her power. Okay. But we know, we know, you know, um, that's why ladies, you have to want to know. You have to want to know y thyself to discover thyself, to discover who you are. Okay. That is the most important phrase, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. Every woman should have that on their wall. And if this is the first time you're joining my channel, <coughs> I am totally focused on women empowerment. I speak to the ladies, um, I speak from a woman's aspect, and I pull from the feminine energy. So if you're looking for something uh, geared toward the man here, you're not going to get it on my channels. Okay. Maybe you want to sit back and learn something and maybe you can get to know a woman. Or know how to be a man to an alpha female, a divine feminine. Because that's what it's all about over here. <clears throat> and if you haven't reached that level, we're going to get you there. That's why I focus on healing. You know what I'm saying? Meditation, aligning of the chakras, cleansing your energy, eating right drinking water that's why I focus on all those things because in order to be a divine feminine those are the things that you're going to have to be focused on okay because when we heal ladies hey it's on and popping you know what I'm saying yeah so you know um I am a part of Medusa's bloodline which many of us readers are I want to say the authentic readers and I get downloads um from the divine Okay, I usually would um, journal these um, downloads that I get and put it in a journal, um, a dream book or something for my spiritual uh, journey, my spiritual enhancement. But the divine has asked me to release these messages to the public and I'm more than obedient to the divine. So that's why I, I uh, created Medusa's messages, because when I get these messages, I'm revealing them to the public and it's helping people. You know, is resonating with a lot of people, um, the advice and the, and the healing, and I, and I love it. And I love that I'm, I am more than honored to have my vessel used by the divine to get these messages out. Okay. And the message that I got was three, three, three. Three, three, three. Uh, I get visions of, I get pictures, I get scenarios, I get numbers, I get words, guys. I get a lot of stuff. So whatever I get, I give it out to you. And what I got this time was three, three, three. Now, three. This uh, one here is the fourth one of a batch. Okay, um, a batch is a, a seven Medusa's messages. Okay, when I get seven Medusa's messages, I put them all together and then I do a Medusa's mega message and we get the whole picture, the full picture of what Medusa is telling us. Okay, um, and so I'm on uh, message number four. So we have three more to go after this and then we're going to do a Medusa's message, guys. Okay, 
All right, so we got 333. Now, 333 is a, is a beautiful number, very uh, spiritual number, and it means growth across the board, basically. It could be personal, financial, you know what I'm saying? But what it means is expansion. So somebody is, you're expanding, collective, whomever energy I'm pulling from, you are expanding, and this is very positive. Um, 333 also has a lot to do with spirituality, mental peace. Um, it also means you're going to have an abundant life. It, it focuses around creativity and a spiritual connection. Yeah. It also has a lot to do with communication. Okay. Which, uh, my, I'm a um, life path number three, and three has a lot to do with speaking. Communication, uh, social media, and stuff like that. So I'm meant to be here to speak. Uh, on social media, uh, that is my life's calling. That is what my uh, life path number says that I'm going to do. Okay. If you guys are interested in um, your life path number, you want to um, um, add up your, your birthday, uh, month, day, and year, and break the numbers down uh, to the barest. You can break it down to one number, and that will be your life path number. Okay. Mine is three, okay? So I am a speaker. I'm meant to speak and communicate. If you look at the number three, it the, it looks like lips. You have to remember that um, our language consisted of symbolism and consonants, okay? So the three looks like lips. So lips, you speak, okay? So that's why I'm supposed to be a speaker. You know, I'm very communicative communicative uh i speak really well i get along with people pretty good you know um um for us, us engaging and talking and stuff like that yeah so definitely i'm a life path number three um <clears throat> but yeah um this is a positive number and it's focused around uh, spiritual a uh, spiritual connection creativity um it's focused around that expanding so somebody's probably trying to expand Something on social media, some type of speaker or something, um, whatever it is, you probably created a platform um, that's dealing with spirituality or something like that. But if you did, um, it's going to grow. It's expanding. This is positive for you. And it's going to give you peace of mind. Okay? It's going to give you peace of mind. All right? All right, Medusa. Let's get the energy of this particular message Medusa is giving us, ladies. I hope y'all doing good out there. <laughs> hope y'all doing good out there. Good meaning beneficial. So I hope you out there doing something that's beneficial to you, your loved ones, your family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. And, 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 and. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. I'm like, baby, be over at Crip Walking. Kendra's real Lamar got me up here Crip Walking. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he done came with it, didn't he? You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm hearing now. So you're dealing with people that are not like you. Okay, a collective, whomever energy I'm pulling from. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, so uh, you're dealing with people that are not like you. You could be dealing with people of a different race, a different uh, 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 spiritual beliefs, uh, different lifestyles, okay, different cultures, but you're not alike. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get this energy. And let's see who's not like you. What's going down? What do they have to do with it? But we gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. This has to do with the first house. And you know, your first house is yourself. Is you. Yourself. You know, um, your, um, how you are, your individuality, how you show up in the world. Okay, this has to do with you showing up in the world. Hmm, interesting. Okay. They're not like us, they're not like us, they're not like us, yeah. Hmm. 
Somebody don't want people to see you and know who you are, but people are seeing who you are. Somebody tried to hide you. They don't want you to have your desires, your dreams. They don't want you to act. They don't want you to do this. You got some people that are not like you. You have different beliefs or something like that, and they don't want you to do this. They don't want you to have a speaking platform. They don't want you on social media. They don't want you to be a speaker. They don't want you to create this platform that has to do with, some, with spirituality. Um, you're speaking on mental peace. You got people that are not like you that do not want you to do this. They don't want you to show up. They don't want you to be seen. They don't want your philosophy to be heard. That's like a beautiful philosophy to me. So it seems like you got some demonic people, a group of people that are against what your, what your spirituality and what you stand for and what you do. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Hmm. Something is going, you're going through a rebirth or your platform is going through a rebirth. These people try to put a death to this, to end this. But this is your, you're, you're very powerful. You have your own personal power. You're very powerful. And you're someone that knows the mysteries of life. And you are someone that's going to create a major change with what you're speaking about. Hmm. These people did not want you to have this power. Okay. These are people that want to use you for resources, but they're not allowed. You're not allowing them to. Um, you're doing this on your own. You don't need anybody. To help you with resources, you're doing this on your own, by yourself, an individual, you know. And these people don't like that. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Ding, 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 ding. Some people try to put a death to your platform. Something that you're doing on social media. But it's going to have a rebirth. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. All right. Let's uh, get some tarot out here. Let's get some tarot out of here. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Ding, 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 ding. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of people talking. I see lips, lips, lips. Yeah, people are talking about you. You got a lot of people talking about you. Something about social media, communicating, something that you're doing, something that you're speaking about. Um, yeah, you showing up and showing out. <laughs> I just heard. They're not like us. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Let's see what Medusa is talking about. Let's see what Medusa is talking about. Three, three, three. Okay. Talk to us, girl. Talk to us. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, best thing uh, in rap that came out since pop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Spirit, talk to us. What is Medusa talking about? 333, three, three, somebody speaking on a platform. People don't like it. Different beliefs, different views, different lifestyle, different, different culture, different race. But you guys are not alike. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Kendra came with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. What we got out here? You, you got some people that tried to bind you or have you set up to go to jail or tried to sacrifice you or something or some 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 somebody was trying to tie you up and do something but it didn't work it did not work they try to psychically attack you and have your mind bounded up but it didn't work it didn't work you 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 uh, uh, out of uh, escape bondage from this people yeah 
you're free. They want to bind you up. They didn't want. They don't want you talking. They don't want you to saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. They wanted to end whatever you're creating, whatever spiritual thing that you're creating. They wanted to bind you up, but honey, you 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 out of that. You out of that. Yeah, they couldn't. They couldn't mentally torture you like they wanted to. You know what we got out here, y'all? Cause they're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Yeah, these people wanted to unalive you. They wanted you to cease to exist. Okay? This is a, a religious group. Church people. This church people that are manipulative and deceptive. They have been attacking you. These church people wanted to end your existence. They wanted to unalive you. All because your views don't fit their views. Your philosophy don't fit their philosophy. Uh, these could be Christian. You know what they, they say. They Christian. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. <laughs> I mean, this this is crazy. Mm, mm, mm. You got somebody from your past that wants to recon that wanted to reconnect with you. Um, that is with this church group, okay, that is with this church group, with this religious group, this religious sect, sect, I call it a cult, okay, this person from your past, uh, they have been doing something to your finances, they have been doing something to your finances to stop your finances or slow your finances down, to have you juggling your finances, robbing Peter to pay Paul, to have everything tight. You know what I'm saying? Um, they just didn't want you to have any type of money or anything. These people were doing things, this people and this person from your past that you was in a connection with, this is an ex of yours. They had, He got with these church people and they were doing things behind the scenes to make your life hard to make you have burdens, to make you carry a heavy load, you know, not be able to pay your bills, not even to be able to have food, not to be able to have transportation. They were doing all this to you. Yeah. They were doing all of this to you. Um, this person, um, this king of swords in reverse, and y'all know what that's about. This is a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, just a no good, stank ass, you know what I'm saying? He actually has a mental problem. This is a person that plays a lot of mind games. You know, this is a person that's just a loser. Okay. Um, this person wanted, wanted to be in a partnership with you. My goodness, he wants you to choose him. If he, was in a, if he was in a partnership with you, he would be so happy. This is a man that's used to having everybody that he wants. All the women dote over him. All the women love him. But you did not think about him. You have no interest in this person at all. You have no interest in re reconnecting with this particular person. And you're going out um, and living your life. You know what I'm saying? You're moving forward in life. Um, you could have uh, met someone and you guys are um, in a balanced uh, relationship, uh, sharing the finances and everything, moving forward in life, progressing forward uh, happily and, and abundantly. And this person that is sitting on the sideline he wants you, even though he deals with a lot of women. He wants you because you're the one that turned him down. He refuses to see you move on and be with somebody else, even though he don't want to be with you. But because you turned him down, this person got with this religious group, or this is the group that he belongs to, and they got together and was doing spell work behind the scenes to mess with your finances, to make life hard for you to actually take you out of here, to unalive you, all because you're not hooking up with this person from your past, this lying, cheating, manipulative, raggedy-ass person. Mm, mm, mm. But they couldn't bind you. They couldn't stop you from doing whatever it is that you're doing. Um, they tried to put a death to your business or whatever, whatever you're doing, and even to you. You've healed from everything these people have done to you. You heal from everything these people have done to you. And you going about your business. You know what I'm saying? These people are, these are miserable, miserable people. And I don't see anything out here that you're doing to these people. 
you know, these just are some miserable, miserable people. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted you to, um, uh, they wanted you to just be out there bad, just mentally messed up. It's like they was trying to drive you crazy or something. You know, it's like they was trying to drive you crazy, you know, but this is the end of this cycle of these people attacking you, trying to unalive you. You know what I'm saying? These people are trying to get you to hit rock bottom. You know what I'm saying? Um, these people betraying you. You know, uh, things are going to change drastically. You know, this person from your past just refuses to uh, accept that whatever you guys had is over. It's over. I mean, he's that mad at you that he went and did spell work with this group. To try to unalive you. He just can't accept that you don't want his ass. Because everybody wants him. Everybody wants him. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, these people, they're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Yeah, he's not like you. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person wanted you to be feel oppressed, to hate yourself, to feel stuck, unable to move, not communicate with other people, you know, just to be bound by your circumstances. Yeah, but it ain't happening, baby. You know what I'm saying? You came up out of that. You know, and this person, whew, you somebody that believes in yourself, okay? And you have empowered thinking. You know, you know what the power of the mind is. You know what I'm saying? And so this is how you remove these obstacles. Because it's just a mind thing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And you remove these obstacles just by believing in yourself. That's why I focus and tell you all the time, ladies, believe in yourself. Know thyself. Know the power of your mind. You know what I'm saying? Different thought pattern, different life. You know? And this whomever I'm energy I'm pulling from, she, she empowered herself just by thinking highly of herself, high vibrational, understanding the power that she has, and not being depressed. Because they can only attack you psychically when you're um, low vibing, because they're low vibing people and low vibing magic. If you keep yourself vibing high, um, most of this magic won't even be able to touch you. You won't feel it. You may get a little ricochet here or there, but it will be nothing compared to what they mean to do. Okay? These are horrible, horrible people. You know? Um, this person, boy, I don't know what's wrong with this mask. I mean, he, he, I don't know what it is about you. Because he's sitting over there. He messing with it. He got about nine or ten women that he's sleeping with. But it's something about you. I think you're the only one that turned him down and really mean what you say. You actually don't want nothing to do with him. And ain't nothing that he can do to make you want to have anything to do with him. So he's like, I'm just going to take her out of here then. Since she don't want to be with me. <laughs> Crazy, right? You got children over there. And he's, uh, you juggling your finances. You know, he don't care. He's a miserable person. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I guess you're making money off of what you created, the spiritual platform or something. This is how you're showing up. And this this person there, they're, this, these people, this religious group, they're, they are behind stopping you. So if your platform isn't slowed down or anything like that, it's these people that are doing it. <sighs> crazy, man. These people are crazy. Mm. They're not like us. They're immoral people. They're not like us. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, these people are not like you. These people are not like you. They have different um, belief system. Um, I see this masculine sitting over here with a turban on his head. So he's probably uh, into like the Islam where they, where they were able to marry as many women as they want to. Because I don't see him, I don't see why he has a problem with you. He has plenty of women over there, but he wants you. <laughs> he wants you. 
crazy. Crazy. He has all these women that he's dealing with. But he wants you. He's mad because you turned your back on him and went after your destiny. Went towards your life purpose. Which is this spiritual platform that you're supposed to be doing. And you did it by yourself. And this person is upset. This person doesn't like the way that you project yourself out into the world. This person did not want you to get this platform on your own because it's, it's successful. If not, it's going to be. And he wants a part in this. So I guess he wanted to bring you to be part of his harem for clout because you are uh, going to be seen on this platform. He's uh, from a religion where women are supposed to be seen and not heard. Women are supposed to cater to men. Uh, men are supposed to rule over women. That's that Islam mess. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Women shouldn't be working. Women, you know what I'm saying? It's the man. It's the man. You know what I'm saying? You see how them people, in the, in they treat their women? They treat them worse than animals. <laughs> yeah, you avoided a tower with this person because he's no good. He's no good. You avoided a tower by turning your back and going towards your life purpose. And because you did this, this person made things hard for you. Hard for you. Mm, mm, mm. Don't nobody want you. But don't worry, sweetheart. Things is finna take off for you. Things is finna take off for you, boo. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're gonna um, be spending a lot of time out in nature. You're probably gonna re be reconnecting with loved ones, family, and friends, and stuff like that. Yeah, you're going to have a reason to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Because this rough patch in your life is over. And I hate you went through this, honey. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're going to um, come t towards some uh, type of good fortune in your life. I mean, you're going to have plenty, plenty, plenty to save, plenty to spend. You also have been going through, uh, your health hasn't been too good. This person has caused all this with this spell work. But now you're going to have renewed health. Everything is going to be okay. Okay. You're going to be collaborating with people. Spending time with friends and people that are on your team. You know what I'm saying? That are, that are uh, not against you. Which this, these people are. You know what I'm saying? These people are frustrated. These people are unbalanced. These are just wicked people. Yeah. Just wicked, wicked people. Ridiculous. This person is upset. <laughs> that you didn't choose him. How dare you turn your back on me? Everybody wants me. You think you're going somewhere? I don't know what he's, he's fixated on you for some particular reason. When he got ten women, but he want one more, and that one more is you. No matter how many women this man get, he's not satisfied till he has you. <laughs> Pitiful. Leave her alone, man. She ain't bothering you. You know? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. You got clarity of this person and what this person was doing. This person was doing spell work. Candle magic. Because you went, uh, you went on your life purpose. You went on your own path. You didn't even think about him. Why would you? He ain't looking over here in your life when he got ten women to please. And doing spell work on you. <sighs> Just take you a, a spirit bath and keep your uh, energy uh, cleansed. Put some hyssop in your bath water and lavender so you can chill and be protected. Cleanse your energy because this person is a maniac. I mean, ridiculous, man. You know? This person is frustrated that you turned your back on him. Boy, you got 10 women on the back. Man. Animal.
animal, man. Animal. Mm -mm -mm. Behind the scenes, I mean, just making your life horrible. You struggling, trying to put food on the table. You struggling, trying to take care of your children. This person is doing spare work against your money, your finances. This is a miserable, yeah, he's over here doing candle magic. Candle magic. Against your finances. <sighs> Crazy. But it didn't work. It's not working. It's not working, Divine Feminine. You know what I'm saying? Keep taking your spiritual baths. Keep cleansing your energy. You know what I'm saying? Hang in there. Because things are going to turn around for you because this magic is not working on you. That's why he's upset. He probably got all them women over there by doing magic on them. <sighs> Why ain't this working on her? Because she's a chosen individual. She's not one of them bobblehead skanch, skanches that you got over there. <sighs> hmm. He want to reconnect with you, girl, please. You know what I'm saying? Please. This person is brokenhearted, going through emotional trauma. You know what I'm saying, man? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. This person's like, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because he was hurt because you rejected him. You want to mess with her finances? You act like a little... Y'all know what I'm going to say he is, a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what is wrong with you? Women, women act like this, not men. This is a, a feminine man. And I bet you he's on the down low. He's got to be a homosexual. He's got to be a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? The way that he's acting because a woman don't want you. It's plenty of fish in the sea, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of fish in the sea. And you've been struggling over here. You know what I'm saying? Juggling these finances. I know how it is, girl. I know how it is because I don't went without eating plenty of days and let my son eat. You know what I'm saying? I, I know how it is, girl. My mama did it for us, too. You know what I'm saying? You know? But this pain that you've been going through is subsiding now. You're going through, like, this resurrection, like I said. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like the the eighth house uh, death and, and rebirth uh, transformation. That's what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Um, they tried to kill your platform, your spiritual platform, something that you created by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You are somebody that never gives up you're determined to survive okay so spirit wants you to have, renew your optimism because things are turning around for you okay everything is going to be reconciled and it's going to go in your favor and these people this person they need to seek uh help because they have emotional problems something wrong with them you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? You're somebody that don't let it get you down. You learn how to cope with the little means that you have. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really not how much you have. It's what you do with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you learn how to cope with the little means that you have. Okay? Um, you could have this person from your past wanting to come around and apologize to you for some reason. But you're not accepting any apology until you're ready. You know what I'm saying? But your health, your health is improving. And um, you could have went through some type of little depression, but you're overcoming that also. You're healing. You went through a healing process, and you healed. The worst is over for you now. Okay? The worst is over for you now because this has been just horrible for you and your children. But this person don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? And these church people, look, but we spiritual. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. You know what I'm saying? And they mad. Why would we want to be like y'all? You know what I'm saying? Manipulative, deceptive, lying. You know, attack people to make them submit to their uh, beliefs. I mean, come on, man. Really? So they can have resources. You know what I'm saying? Look at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to take out the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, ma'am. They wanted to take you out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, you probably was cutting into their money. You know what I'm saying? Because spirituality speaks against um, a lot of things that go on in the church. You know what I'm saying? You probably stepped on their money and they weren't having it. <laughs> 
I mean, that's sad. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, these people over here are going through it right now because of what they've done to you because you are a chosen individual. You know, 333, I told you that has a lot to do with spiritual connection. You know what I'm saying? And your spiritual connection has a lot to do with your creativity. Okay? And um, you're highly connected and protected. So these people, this religious group or whatever, they're having a lot of financial setbacks over there. These people are a bunch of hustlers that pretend to care about others only for a financial gain. This is why they use the church, y'all. They pretend they care about you only to get you to tithe. Only for financial gain. You know, um, these are people that society would consider as low class. Their behavior is vulgar. They be doing some stuff behind closed doors, baby. And a lot of these religious communities be, be, be about that life. You know what I'm saying? These are people that shop all the time. They take y'all money and spend y'all money on Gucci bags and red bottoms and stuff. And these people in the church, okay? These are people at church, boy, to be like a fashion show. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to keep up with the Joneses. This is what they do. They max out their credit cards so they can come home on and have on a $5,000 suit to go to church. You know what I'm saying? These are people are shallow. These people are unethical uh, social climbers. They'll do anything to uh, climb up uh, in society. These people are snobs. Uh, these are people that are, are obsessed with uh, material things and, and status. You know? And that's how it is in these churches. That's how it is. I mean, in, in T.D. Jake's church, you can't sit down in front unless you uh, one of the top donators. You know, that's crazy, man. I will happen to come as you are. Everybody come take a seat. Don't matter who you are. Just take a seat and listen to this word I got now. But you can't sit here if you didn't give me $1,000. <sighs> come on, man. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. You know, and on your platform, you could be exposing this. And these people don't want you to expose this. You're talking about them. They don't want you to expose none of this. That's why they want to take you out of here. Unalive you. <sighs> They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, they're not like us, man. These people are demonic, and y'all need to get out of these churches in 2024. I've been telling y'all, man, y'all need to get out of these churches. Y'all need to get out of these churches. My goodness. Look at what they're doing to somebody that's not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? But preaching about how to have mental peace. They don't want you to have that. Look at them. Doing spell work. Doing spell work. Mm, mm, mm. Doing spell work, honey. This, this is a group of people. They call each other families. You know what I'm saying? This person comes from a family of people that they do this spell work. This is what they do. This is what they do. And he's well-versed in it because they taught him this. So he's been um, knowing uh, well-versed in this since he was little. He came up as a child in this. Okay? I mean, it's sad, y'all. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Ding, 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 ding. No, they're not. These are demons. These are demons. Okay, these are definitely demons. All right, I mean, this is a person. Um, these people are very um, highly effective in doing crossing work, which is hexes. Very highly uh, versed in uh, putting hexes on people. Okay. I mean, this is this 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 is it's crazy, man. Crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is what they do. These church people, they go around, they put hexes on people, you know what I'm saying? So they can have so they can shop. So they can look good on Sundays. You know, but the obstacles that you've been going through with these people is over now. You know, um, this was like an initiation to you. I'm sorry to say that. You know what I'm saying? It was like an initiation. Um, you're going to a next level. You probably was going through this with these people for seven years. For seven years, you've been stagnant, having to wait uh, 
for your uh, breakthrough because they've been they've been doing it continuously on you for years, and I'm saying about seven years. Mm hmm. And now you have clarity of that, and continue to cleanse your energy um, because things are improving for you. Okay, this is over. This cycle is over. Enjoy your platform, sweetheart. Preach that, talk that talk. You know what I'm saying? Telling people how to have mental peace, how to empower themselves, how to love themselves, how to get into their creativity. I mean, people are aspiring to, to do what you're doing, and these people can't have that. They want people to aspire to be leaders in the church, to be wicked like them. Instead of being critical thinkers, free-minded, living, loving nature, they don't want that. They want you to be in love with the physical. Don't be in love with the, with God. No. Everything is about to expand for you. Growth across the board. These people, you juggling your finances is over. These people trying to unalive you is over. You having burdens in your life is over. This spell work, these hexes these people are doing is over. And you need to speak that into existence. Okay. This was an initiation thing for you. Um, that's all they did was initiate you. Made you stronger, make you proud. Uh, uh, um, made you progress to know how to protect yourself against hexes and spell work. Because if nobody was doing it on you, how would you know to protect yourself? And this is what the divine let certain things happen so you can get your skills. It's like you were, had, these, these people were your sparring partners. And now you know how to move this way and duck and jab. You know what I'm saying? You needed to practice. Thanks for the practice, bitches. And now you are forced to be reckoned with. <laughs> you are forced to be reckoned with, baby. You know what I'm saying? And they hate that. You know what I'm saying? They tried to put an end to it, but it's going through a rebirth. And these people could not unalive you. You know what I'm saying? These are the type of people that they will be responsible for your uh, transition and to be showing, they'd be the one showing up to your funeral crying the most. That's how wicked these people are. I'm sorry I sinned against you, my congregation. I want to apologize. That's who I heard right now. I forgot what was his name. Um, uh, I forgot that man's name. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that preacher. Was it was it Billy Graham? What, that was his name, I think. It's sad. Well, this is a message that I have from Medusa, guys, 333. If you feel anybody could benefit from this reading, please share the consciousness, share the awareness, guys, because this is happening to a lot of readers. They're being attacked by religious groups because they have different beliefs, different moral system, different value, you know. And these are the, these religious groups, they like to force you into believing what they believe is true. You're not trying to force them to, to believe in what you believe in. We're not even being bothered with them, but they come with the sword to make us believe in their gods. It's ridiculous. And they come under the guise of the church. It's ridiculous. Plum ridiculous. Okay? Well, of course, this is the number four, and we have three more to go. So we headed up there to, you know, get into seven, y'all. Okay? I love y'all. And I will see you guys on the next Medusa's message. Y'all be easy, okay? Bye-bye.